You are now listening to the Tucker's Daily Podcast with your hosts, LJ and Tiffany Tucker, a house that is united unless we're talking football. Yo, yo, yo. All right. We back. Tucker's Daily live at you with some more football talks. Yes, yes, yes. And today we are doing our top five running backs for in the, the 2023 season y'all yes 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 so um that's yeah a lot of good so running let's, backs. let's let's see who 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 actually got a good workhorse back in the backfield you know uh-huh, our uh-huh. opinions on that you know yeah it's funny because we had a little controversy but we're gonna see did we, did who we? have a better list it's all opinionated but uh-huh i think it's gonna be good mm-hmm. i think it's gonna be good well, because I like mine, running backs, you know? you know, I have my little notes here. Um, <laughs> I went back and forth. I'm going to say for this one, I went back and forth a lot. I know you did. I went back and I forth a lot did. about my top five, who I who I want to put in there, who, you know, who I'm taking out. So let's just, let's just give. Let's, let's just get give into it. Let's, let's get, get into, into it. it. So uh, I'm going to let her pop it off. Top five. Go ahead, baby. What's your number five? Who you got? Mm. I don't even know y'all. <laughs> Come on now. So okay, let me let me talk about this real quick. My number five, mm-hmm. which I wanted to change him multiple times. So my number five is going to be Christian McCaffrey. Oh, CMC, God. Yeah. That's okay. a good one. So ah, I debated. I debated whether I wanted to put him on the list only because he's getting older. Mm-hmm. Um, injuries a mm-hmm. lot, a lot of injuries. Mm-hmm. Um, but I do still think he has it in him. You know, I think mm-hmm. this okay. year he's going to try to show. You know, he's still he's still doing a great job. Don't get me wrong. No, he's definitely. But um, I put him on my list. One, I like the guy. Um, I think he has done a lot. Even with changing teams, injuries, playing on and off, different CMC. quarterbacks, uh. you know. Um, so you know, I, I'm I'm saying he's gonna he's gonna come out this season and he's gonna show us that he's still CMC. He's still the one to talk about. Number uh, five. I can't knock him. You mm-hmm. know, definitely solid, but. Mm-hmm. He definitely had that bug, that injury bug, you know. Yeah. I'm just weary of that, you know. If but he stay healthy, that, he stay healthy though. Yeah, he's but a problem. But even with that, even with that, he was in the top five. I mean, top ten for top rushing yards. Even with that, so. <laughs> but is it him, or is it that that line he's running behind? Which that is factor for running back. So yeah, I give him, I give him credit. You well, know, he's, I, he's I, running behind. A good line in San Francisco. Yeah, so. he got big Trent Williams out there. So, all right, we'll see. That's a good five. All right. All right My we'll five, I came a little different. I think uh, the guy, not last year, but the year before, he had, I, think he, I want to say he was the best running back, if you go by numbers. Um, hmm. But I'm, I think with a new quarterback, mm-hmm. new coach, I think they had to change the scheme because of the quarterback. Mm-hmm. And it's gonna really help this guy out. I think mm. he's gonna be a workhorse for them, and with increase in. And carries mm-hmm. and everything. And I think more carries and more touches for him, as long as he's, of course, stay healthy, I think he can be back really top five, not even top – could be top three. Mm-hmm. But um, I'm going to go with number five for me is Jonathan Taylor, young guy okay. from the Colts. He's really, really, really showed that he can run, mm-hmm. of course. But uh, I think with him and Anthony Richardson, they have to change that scheme to more of a running style running style Jonathan offense. Interesting. But uh, I think Jonathan Taylor may bounce back. And uh, show you guys that Colts are coming to run that ball. <laughs> you know, I do feel with a new rookie quarterback, you don't have to, you he know. will be utilized more. And that's But you think about running backs in a general, that's kind of what they need. They need more touches. You know, you got to figure if you can get a running back that don't however, have. However, though. Oh, we're going However. Who else they the throwing quarter- the ball to? Well, the rookie quarterback moves. He has the legs. So My he's going to be taken exactly. off too. So I, I'm just – I. we'll see. That's an interesting pick. I, I don't think yeah, a she lot wasn't of people that. would have him in the top but five. But you think about you know, Anthony Richardson, yes, under his quarterback. Yeah. And I think he's going to be – I think he's going to do good. But 
they're going to ease him into it. I don't think they're going to come out. He's going to come out throwing it 20, 30 times. I think he's going to more ease, run the ball a lot more. That's why he got Jonathan Taylor, and he'll run the ball. I think that they're going to change yeah. the whole offensive scheme because he is a bigger quarterback, and with him having Jonathan Taylor back there, I think uh, yeah, it will. It will. We'll see. You know, <laughs> we'll, yeah, see. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, go ahead. Number four for you. Um, number four. <laughs> number four on my list. Whew. Someone that is about to yeah, start a we debate. Gonna, yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, pop this off. You know, I try to be easy on you, but go ahead. Big. <laughs> Number four <laughs> is Derrick Henry. Come on, man. You see what I'm saying? You see what I got to put up with? Derrick Henry. Let's get his name right first. King Henry. There's a reason why we call him King Henry. His name's not Derrick? Oh, it's Derek, but oh, okay. he's King okay. Henry. Okay, okay. Now we only have one king. Okay. Uh huh. But there, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yo, okay. Do I really need to get into stats? So him? this is what. Look, let me tell you why he's number four. Okay. Yes. He is very good. Arguably, the top running back in the league. Say it again. Arguably, which means he's the best. He's the best runner. That it doesn't mean he is. So the reason why I put him number four. Yeah, but we, I'm, I'm dying to hear this. Because, um, uh, I think he slows down this year. I think what? he slows down this year. He slows I think down. This is the year he slows down. I think you know. I also oh Derrick Henry God. is great, but you know why? What the people gloss over is the fumbles. Um, but the man don't fumble. The man is first of all, he's he a had king. Four fumbles last Henry. year. Yeah, but. Well, let's go about a year before that. We're not going about a year before that. Right. And that's not a lot. I'm not saying that to say that he's not great because even with those fumbles, you're still making, like, top rushing. You still have, like, the most touchdowns. So, I get it. But I just feel this year the slowdown is wow, here. Wow, if he's number four and I'm down to see your top. And I know they're that. probably going to use him more so this year to push it into the end zone. And yeah, he you, will not be running as many yards. And as I have to disagree usual. because you think about the team they have around him, which is nothing. Um, they still which holding on to the whole tanning heel. Um, I do think he still gets three hundred plus carries, and with that, uh-huh. he's definitely going to be well over fifteen hundred yards. Because you have all those um, carries, of course you should, as you should. Making him that doesn't make King you... Henry. Okay, because with those carries come yards. With those yards, come touchdowns. And I think they're going to focal, focus the offense around him, you know. As they always do. That's why his stats are Not always always going to be top, and he's always going to be up there. The only thing is, he got to stay healthy, as I always preach, you know. That yeah. could be a wear and tear on his body. Yes, he is getting he older. Is wear but wear on his body. You think and there will be regression. He is going to regress. Yes, he is. Naturally. And we can say that about CMC, but it looked like he still. He did he, regress. Actually, okay, still, okay. Gr- still a good running back, but he did regress. So. Okay, okay, okay. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and all right. Who's I'm gonna your say number my number four then. Who's my your number, number four, four. I'm going with. He's still top five, by the way. Everybody, he is on the top five. So let's not let's calm down. Yes, let's. let's all right, all right. My all right. Top, my number four is going to be Nick Chubb. Mm. I'm going Nick Chubb, my number four. And like I've been preaching before, is is more so about the time. To- well, first of all, Nick Chubb. We all know Nick Chubb. He, he definitely hold his own. He's always been a cornerstone of the Browns since he's been in the league. Um, even with a, all, a Pro Bowl running back behind him and Kareem Hunt, he's still top five running back all the time. Like, I've never seen a time where Nick Chubb hasn't really got his, uh, yeah, his yeah, shine. You know, Nick Chubb is consistent. Um, but I do feel with Deshaun so that means Watson. If you have Nick Chubb as your number four, you must have Derrick Henry. Oh, they, oh, Derrick Henry. Okay, let's We're not We're going to get to there. We're going to get so, there. So, you have him number four. Yes. Okay, okay. I got him number four. And and solely because the division he playing in, I think the competition is very, very, very hard up there. And I think Deshaun Watson with a second year, they'll, they'll allow him to throw the ball a lot more. So, mm-hmm. his mm-hmm. touches may diminish a little bit. Mm-hmm. But, um, mm-hmm. yeah, that's, that's my reason for Nick Chubb. But he's still solid, solid running back. I like really him. Good. I like him. Really I, good I, I have – him on my list. Yeah. A higher. But he's on it. What's number three for you? Saquon Barkley. Good old man <laughs> Barkley. Wow. 
Wow. Okay. I think there's no argument. No, there's no arguments there. Nah, that, he's come a on, great man. Running that, back. Good guy. He just Seems got his, cool. You know, you know, his full season back yes. last season. He's coming back he's coming this back. season after playing. No, I like Saquon. Actually, he's, he's going to show you guys why he's still Mr. Legs. Ha, Mr. Legs. No, he definitely. Uh, he definitely have. He's been working out in his off season. Still working on them legs. So. I don't see any slow. I don't see it either. I do feel like they still focus the the, the offense around mm-hmm, him. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. I'm not going to knock Daniel Jones. He did have a great year last year. Um, yeah. But I still think that offense is still built and around. The thing Saquon I like about Barkley. Barkley is why I have him above Derrick Henry. In my opinion, mm-hmm. I really like running backs who run. Don't get me wrong. I know. Derrick Henry, they used him as more of a wrecking ball. Derrick Henry is a wrecking yeah, ball. I mean, the so they used him in situations where he can just Let's... punch the line, punch in the touchdown, punch in Why the um, first yard, um, I mean the one yard, punch in maybe if they got three yards to go. And that's all good and gravy. And if you're getting hella touches, then you should have a lot of True. yards. True. But what I like to see in my running back is, is a running back who hits the hole and is explosive and just takes off. I want to see that in my running back. I yeah, it does really, take Derrick Henry. You know it takes Derrick Henry watch, a, a, a little right. time to get going, but every, once he get going. And every time we watch football, you know this about me. When I, every time we watch, and even coaches who run plays just to get your running back, just to get – one or two yards, one or two yards during the whole game, right? Not a game that you went in and da, 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 yeah, da, you're yeah. trying to run the clock. That annoys me. I want to <laughs> see my running back find the hole and get going. Move those legs is what you're here for. That's you're true. not here That's to true. be a wrecking ball. That's true. That's why That's true. my list, Derrick Henry, yeah, is Derrick Der- Henry is more Saquon like a, jag- Barkley, a juggernaut. He's both. Saquon Barkley is a wrecking ball who can do oh, the on one or list. two pushing in a touchdown, yeah. but he also can hit that hole and take off. Yes, you hear I, me? I got Saquon and on my list. He's before everybody though. jump on me, I do know that Henry has had his moments where he hit that hole and took off. Come on, but man. that is not his. She's just more trying to say so he's slowing game. down. But I'm, sh- I assure you, 2023 is back. Okay. He's back. I'm telling right, you, he's let's back. See, let's now, see. number three for me, since you had Barkley for your number three, number three for me. Yeah. Is the Russian champ himself last year, Josh Jacobs, Woo! man? And uh, number three, I gave him, I gave him credit. You know, I gave him Who the? number three for hey, me. Uh, now, do I need to say that again? That's uh, disrespectful. Yes, I do feel because I feel like last year was a year where he had to prove himself. You know, That's they was already on the end of his and contract, he and he definitely proved himself. He showed that why he's a great running back in the league. But I'm also going to sit here and not act like the other two people above him that I have. Do you add on your list as well? I think they're just better than him, you know, overall. Mm. You know, um, okay. you're just First better all, running backs. But okay. I give I give credit to Josh number Jacobs. Three? That's my number three. Oh my god, two people he put ahead of him. Yeah, but the wow. two people you mentioned, you know, wow. we argued about. But I'm gonna wow. go ahead. All right, I'll then go who's ahead. your number two? My number two is Saquon. You know, I put okay, Saquon as my okay, number two. Look at that. You know, all right. just because I feel like piggyback when you say, yeah, he does hit the hole. Explosive, catch out the backfield, mm-hmm. block. Mm-hmm. He does it all. That's mm-hmm. why I feel like he he is the Giants. He's seventy percent of Giants. Like uh, let's call it what it is. Um, Josh does too. <clears throat> Josh does too. But Josh, Josh also got somebody too. out there that can take that load off of him too, and that don't play that position. You know, number seventeen. Let's let's and they got Jimmy G. So with Jimmy G in seventeen, that breaks a load off of Giants. Ain't got that. Giants ain't got that. Giants ain't got a Devontae Adams out there. They don't. Okay. So, but um, we ain't gonna we ain't gonna segment that because she trying to she trying to sway me away from my the, pick. You know why? <laughs> that what you just said is more of a reason why Josh should be higher. T- explain why. Even with those people, he's still top uh, the charts as a top rushing. Come on. Quarter, I mean, quarterback, uh, running back. Uh, let's just say. He How, got... So you know you have to be really good. If you have those things on your team still, when you don't have it, this is my logic, y'all. If you do not have it, of course they have to go you. Like Derrick Henry, of course you're getting all those touches. You're the only one they got. You're the only guy. So are you good it is- or the only option? <laughs> uh, this, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, she yeah, got I'm me stumbling. But um, it's more the scheme. You know, you, you got to understand. Raiders do have one of the best receivers to play the game in the league. And if you really want to go in depth with it, 
defense have to definitely shade towards number 17. Mm-hmm. With that, that takes a man out of the box. That takes him out of the box. You got to cover okay. number 17. I give you that. So right. that, that allows, back. Back with, that allows with Josh that. Jacobs to have more holes to hit, you. to be explosive. Right, you know, right. you got Because that. I have one person to worry about, one less person to worry about. So, yeah. yeah it, okay. Spreading now, the coverage. Now, but think about Derrick Henry, who, you're right, they ain't got nobody No spreading the coverage. I get where you're going Now with I this. can load the box. But if Derrick Henry still can get his rushing yards... And while he loading the box, that that's impressive. Mm, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So but your number ahead. two is Saquon Barkley. Guys. Yeah, my number Saquon two is Barkley. Saquon Barkley. My number two is Nick I'm Chubb. She went with Nick Chubb as her number two. I mean, yeah, like I said, they top five. But I'm down to see her reason why she put Nick Chubb so high. You put Nick Chubb over Derrick Henry. Interesting. Go I, ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I told you why I put Derrick Henry low. Oh okay, you did, Nick, but I want to hear your reason for Nick Chubb. What's 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 Nick up? Nick Chubb is. Kind of like a Saquon Barkley. Can yeah. do he does. both. He does. Wrecking ball and explosive. He does. And I feel like with, like you just said, I'm going to steal what you just said. No, do it. Do with it. With Deshaun Watson's quarterback, you're going to have him being able to also get touches but also open it up because Deshaun can run too. Yeah, he can. Right? He can. So you got you to account for your quarterback. You got you get some wide receivers on there, got Amari and then Cooper you got him. There. So you got to okay. count. So if you're looking at that that's, angle, that's you're accounting for things, and he's that's why he exposed on you. Um, I just think his game is really pretty. Like it is very much. Yeah, he's tough. Like clean. He, he is tough. He knows where he's going. He knows what he's doing. Yeah, he yeah. sees it he's before tough. it happens. He's tough. I, I like how he plays and I can't, executes. You can't really argue that. You know, you make a valid point. You know, mm-hmm. Nick Chubb is a. I want to go on a limb and say, ever since he's been in the league, been top three quarter, top three running backs. You know, mm-hmm. um, consistent, consistent. You know, you can never, can't go wrong with Nick Chubb. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah, can't go you wrong can't. with Nick Chubb. Georgia product, by the way. You know, yeah, <laughs> I'll throw you that in there, it? but um. All right, All right. We, we down to number one. Number you know, one. I'm gonna say mine first because we've been mentioning this guy's name, oh, you know, Derrick a lot. Henry. I put Derrick Henry Derrick number one. You know, I don't want to keep going and sound like a broken record, but I, I'm just gonna sit here and say 2023. You will see. You will see. A, what do you want to keep seeing from Derrick Henry? He, you know, like he's well. It's he's, the numbers. It's it's the numbers. You you, okay. you act as if the guy one the guy he's, he's good. is very durable. I mean, he's on the top five. He is but durable. But to what end? To a vault? <laughs> <laughs> look, you better hope this look. not this year. You better hope this year he doesn't get hurt or slow down because I'm going to be all in your oh, face. We'll see, you know. Okay. And mark my word, people. All mark my word, people. And you guys, face. it's funny because you agree with me too. You know what it is. Derrick Henry, man, I can't knock that man And game. if you agree with him, I'm going to be all in y'all face in the comments. <laughs> you see. King Henry. They don't and call if, him that if, for no reason. If I'm wrong... Come at me in the comments. King Henry. I could be wrong, That's why I'm, they call him that. I've never been. I've never been a real big fan of his his game. I just never have. I think it's on, it's man. very. Come on, man. He's about to break records. His, his Tennessee. Gr- his game. He is Tennessee. I don't want to say aggressive because it's a like kind of negative term. His game to me is very much like bully ball. He plays <sighs> well, and runs his route. Like bully ball. Well, it's not well, like calculated. Let's, let's, let's call this it's game more what so it is. You like, know? This game. I'm just, I know I can beat you type It's thing. a physical game. And if I I'm bigger, that. faster, and stronger than you, I'm going to use it to my advantage. And he plays the perfect position Yeah, perfect but that's position why it's going to be regression because you don't always have to do that. You don't always have to play bully ball. You can actually run the route, see where people are, see where the hole is, and get in there and explode. You know the thing about that Instead is? Instead of just knocking people down if you so that know, when they get up again, they're scared to come against you. If you know what I'm doing, you should have the advantage. But you don't. And a lot of y'all probably don't like that. Y'all don't say, dang, girl, you don't like that. That's what it's about. You gotta exactly. Boom. Exactly. I'm glad you answered your own question. That's why I like Nick Chubb because he can, he can push Derek you around. Henry but he also knows how to not have to do that. He can just make you fall down. He'll make you miss. Okay. And Derrick Henry, the stiff arm himself? He's not going to make you miss. He's but, just going to push you down. Which, if you know what he's going to do, I mean, stop call it. That a miss, but, you stop know. it. You have to stop it. Until you stop it. He's huge. You can't stop it. That's you, what I said. Booty it's ball. football. When Grunk was playing, he was huge. They end up. They tried to stop well, him. They didn't. Grunk. But that's a thing. That's different. Grunk that's just, didn't. That's part of the game. Grunk, I, I don't. 
That's like part his, of the game. I don't like his gameplay. I'm the not game going to take it back. I don't like his gameplay. These guys Grunk, are Grunk bigger, actually stronger. didn't do that. Uh, Grunk didn't always stiff arm and like put his put it put his arm down. Coach to always get you. say it, Grunk was actually running. Y'all ever see Grunk play? He go actually for be the running out there and just I mean, he you step go, over people. The taller they are, the harder they fall. The okay. bigger they First are. First of all, let's not talk about Derrick Henry like he's not top five. He's on top five. Yeah, he is. So, he is. You know, that it is. interchanges. Just because he's not it one, does. it doesn't mean I'm just, saying he sucks. I just don't think he deserves my number one, two, or three spot. Well, who's your number one spot then? My man. The man who got me so many fantasy points oh last God. year. See, that's, a, that's a whole new year, though. It's a whole new year. It don't matter. Who got you your he's most fantasy points? He's going to do it again. Who got you your Josh most fantasy points? Jacobs. One year wonder. Oh. He had a one year. He had his one good year. Now he consistently does his thing out there in the AFC West, but let's 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 call it. He First only one. had that one year last year where it stood out. Oh. Yeah, exactly. It don't matter. But he's good. I'm not knocking Josh, Josh Jacobs. I actually Jacobs. really like Josh Jacobs' game. I do think he's a great player and it seems to be a great player off, off the field. You got to think about rise. all the quarterbacks. I mean, quarterbacks. I keep saying quarterbacks. All the running backs on our top five, if you really, really think about it, all of them are about to regress yes. except for Josh Jacobs. And That's Jonathan, why he's oh, number whoa, one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Jonathan Taylor. Let's not. The man's still under 25. Oh, the okay. man is I'm, young. I forgot he was on top five because yes. he shouldn't even he's be on there. He's my top five. Because the year before, I'm, I'm Josh, Jonathan about, Taylor was I'm that about guy. Chubb, you know? I'm talking about Saquon Barkley. I mean, Chubb is still, yeah, he's and, still and, in and the middle. He's and, still in prime And to be too. mentioning these guys. But like and, Saquon Barkley, McCaffrey, and Henry, they're going to regress. True. And it's a lot. And, and God, it's a lot of running backs. And, you know, and Move on it's over. A, it's a lot of running backs that's coming up. King Henry. And your time is almost over. But we'll see. I think he still got some juice in the tank. And this year will I think be Josh good. Jacobs is definitely going to have a great year. Um, not knocking what he's doing out there at the Raiders. We're not talking about fantasy, but you'll be a fool not to have Josh Jacobs on your fantasy. Just saying it here. You heard it here I first. I mean, if he's there left, I wouldn't take a first round pick. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't. But what? You know, we're going to get to another video about that. We're going to talk right. to you about well, that. Well, you guys, stuff, you know? comment, like, subscribe, and let us know what you think about our top five. Which one of our picks is crazy? Which one do you think that Her's that's crazy. not going to happen? Crazy. Jonathan Taylor. You crazy. know, um, let us know what you think. And, and tell us who your top five is. We don't know. We want to see. It's going to be great to see this season and how the yeah, running backs wait. come in because we do also have some rookies we coming do. up. We do. I didn't put none on my we list do. because I have never said yeah, I don't know what uh, you're going to do. But I feel. But we will be recalculating. Yeah, we will. Um, just stay tuned with us, you know. Check out our next video. Mm -hmm. You never know what we're going to be talking about. You never stay know. Tuned. Stay tuned. See ya. See ya.